Welcome to the 2023 CDL Tanker Practice Test. This test has 60 questions with explained answers to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your CDL instructor to walk you through the question. Question 1. What is the term used to describe the partitions or dividers between compartments inside tanks that contain openings or holes? A. Hatches B. Vents C. Baffles D. Bulkheads. The correct answer is C. Baffles. Baffles are used as internal dividers within tanks to control liquid movement, preventing excessive surge, and promoting more stable handling of the cargo, particularly during turns and sudden stops. Question 2. When unloading the smaller compartments of a tank equipped with bulkheads, what should you pay close attention to? A. Tire pressure. B. Distribution of weight. C. Ambient temperature. D. Brake fluid level. The correct answer is B. Distribution of weight. When unloading the smaller compartments of a tanker with bulkheads, the distribution of weight is a critical factor to monitor. Properly distributing the weight ensures the vehicle's stability and safe handling, particularly in tanker trucks, where maintaining balanced weight helps prevent potential rollovers and other safety risks. Question 3. When transporting liquids using tank vehicles, what demands special attention due to its potential impact on vehicle stability and handling? A. Liquid movement. B. Ambient temperature. C. Tire pressure. D. Engine oil level. The correct answer is A. Liquid movement. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care due to the factor of liquid movement. This movement can significantly affect the vehicle's stability and handling, especially in tanker trucks, making it crucial to manage speed and turns to prevent shifts in weight that could lead to dangerous situations such as rollovers. Question 4. In the event of an emergency that necessitates rapid stopping or risk of collision, what action should you take with your tanker vehicle? A. Apply hard braking. B. Downshift quickly. C. Swerve to the right. D. Use controlled or stab braking. The correct answer is D. Use controlled or stab braking. When faced with an emergency situation requiring rapid stopping or avoiding a collision in a tanker, it is recommended to use controlled or stab braking. This technique involves applying firm and consistent pressure on the brakes to bring the vehicle to a controlled stop without jeopardizing stability, minimizing the risk of skidding or loss of control, particularly important when transporting liquids in a tanker. Question 5. What type of surge can occur within a tank equipped with baffles when transporting liquid? A. Forward and backward. B. Up and down. C. Side to side. D. Circular. The correct answer is C. Side to side. A tank with baffles can experience side to side surges of liquid when in motion. Baffles are internal partitions that help control the movement of the liquid cargo, reducing the risk of sudden shifts and maintaining vehicle stability by minimizing the lateral sway that could affect handling, particularly around curves or during sudden maneuvers. Question 6. How does liquid surge impact the handling of a tanker? A. It increases braking effectiveness. B. It improves steering response. C. It reduces the need for speed adjustment. D. Surge can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. The correct answer is D. Surge can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Liquid surge in a tanker can lead to the movement of the truck in the same direction as the waves within the liquid cargo, affecting the vehicle's handling by potentially causing instability and swaying. This phenomenon underscores the importance of cautious driving to counteract and manage these movements, ensuring safe and controlled operation of the tanker. Question 7. When operating smoothbore tankers, where should you exercise heightened caution, particularly in regard to your driving actions? A. Starting or stopping. B. Turning corners. C. Changing lanes. 
D. Accelerating on highways. The correct answer is A. Starting or stopping. When driving smooth bore tankers, special caution is advised during starting or stopping maneuvers. These tankers lack internal baffles, making the liquid cargo more prone to surge and movement during changes in speed, necessitating careful handling to prevent potential loss of control and instability. Question 8. In the event of a brake failure, when should a driver utilize a truck escape ramp? A. During daylight hours. B. When traffic is light. C. Only if the tanker is carrying hazardous materials. D. Always. The correct answer is D. Always. The use of a truck escape ramp should be employed without hesitation in situations of brake failure, regardless of external factors. It serves as a crucial safety measure to prevent catastrophic accidents and should be utilized whenever a loss of braking control is detected in a tanker. Question 9. What does the term outage refer to in the context of liquid tankers? A. A road closure due to maintenance. B. Allowance for expansion of liquid. C. A safety inspection point for tank vehicles. D. The maximum weight capacity of the tanker. The correct answer is B. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Otage, in the context of liquid tankers, refers to the space deliberately left unfilled within the tank to accommodate the potential expansion of the liquid cargo due to temperature changes. This practice prevents overfilling and helps maintain safe and proper loading conditions during transit. Question 10. Which of the following accurately describes the relationship between speed and stopping distance? A. Stopping distance remains constant regardless of speed. B. Stopping distance decreases as speed increases. C. Stopping distance is only affected on highways. D. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. The correct answer is D. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. The correct answer is, wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. This emphasizes the critical impact of road conditions on braking effectiveness, particularly on wet surfaces, where increased stopping distance is a significant concern, regardless of the vehicle's speed. Question 11. What term is used to describe the liquid-tight partitions installed within tank compartments to separate them from one another? A. Bulkheads. B. Baffles. C. Couplers. D. Vents. The correct answer is A. Bulkheads. The correct term for the liquid tight separations between compartments inside tanks is bulkheads. These bulkheads prevent the movement of liquid cargo between compartments, aiding in load stability and reducing the risk of surges or shifts during transport. Question 12. While operating a tank truck, what outcome is most probable if the front wheels enter a skid? A. The truck will veer to the right. B. The truck will come to a quick stop. C. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how much you steer. D. The steering will become excessively responsive. The correct answer is C. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how much you steer. In the event of a front wheel skid in a tank truck, the truck is likely to continue moving straight ahead despite steering inputs, which could result in reduced control and potentially hazardous conditions. Question 13. When comparing the braking performance of an empty truck to a fully loaded one, which statement is accurate? A. Empty trucks have better traction. B. May require longer stopping distances than full ones. C. Empty trucks stop more abruptly. D. Empty trucks experience less wear on brakes. The correct answer is B. May require longer stopping distances than full ones. Empty trucks, due to their reduced weight, may experience reduced traction and therefore necessitate longer distances to come to a complete stop, highlighting the importance of adjusting driving behavior accordingly. 
Question 14. When loading the smaller compartments of a cargo tank that features bulkheads, what aspect should you inspect for proper balance? A. Tire pressure. B. Fuel efficiency. C. Weight distribution. D. Brake fluid level. The correct answer is C. Weight distribution. When loading the smaller compartments of a cargo tank with bulkheads, it's essential to verify the weight distribution. Proper weight distribution ensures that the liquid cargo's weight is balanced within the tanker, enhancing stability and safe handling during transit. Question 15. Regarding emergency steering maneuvers in tankers, which statement is correct? A. Apply the brakes simultaneously with quick steering. B. When making a quick steering movement, do not apply the brakes. C. Tankers respond better to sudden steering changes. D. Emergency steering is not necessary for tankers. The correct answer is B. When making a quick steering movement, do not apply the brakes. In emergency situations involving tanker vehicles, it is important to remember that when making a rapid steering adjustment, it is advisable not to apply the brakes simultaneously. Applying the brakes while steering sharply could potentially lead to loss of control or instability due to weight shift, underscoring the need to prioritize controlled steering actions. Question 16. When driving a truck equipped with a baffled cargo tank, what effect would you anticipate in terms of handling? A. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. B. Reduced fuel efficiency. C. Enhanced steering responsiveness. D. Increased risk of rollovers. The correct answer is A. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Baffles inside a cargo tank help control the movement of the liquid cargo, reducing the surge and potential shifts, leading to improved handling and stability, particularly during acceleration and deceleration. Question 17. What is a potential consequence of side-to-side -side surge in a tanker's liquid cargo? A. Improved handling. B. Reduced tire wear. C. Rollover. D. Enhanced braking performance. The correct answer is C. Rollover. Side-to-side -side surge in a tanker's liquid cargo can lead to instability and loss of control, increasing the risk of a rollover where the tanker tips over onto its side, which can be extremely hazardous and result in accidents, making it essential to manage liquid movement and speed appropriately. Question 18. What factors dictate the amount of liquid to be loaded into a tank? A. The legal weight limits. B. The driver's level of experience. C. The atmospheric pressure. D the availability of tank cleaning facilities? The correct answer is A. The legal weight limits. The quantity of liquid that can be loaded into a tank is primarily determined by the legal weight limits established by regulations. Adhering to these limits is crucial to ensure road safety and prevent potential dangers linked to overloading a tanker vehicle. Question 19. While driving on a clear night and transitioning from high to low beams, you should adjust your speed to enable you to come to a complete stop within a. half the distance of your high beam visibility, b. a quarter of the distance of your high beam visibility, c. the distance you can see ahead, d. twice the distance of your high beam visibility. The correct answer is c. the distance you can see ahead. When dimming your headlights from high to low on a clear night, it's essential to adjust your speed so you can stop within the distance you can see ahead. This ensures that you have enough visibility to perceive and react to potential hazards on the road. Question 20. What impact on handling is anticipated when a cargo tank is equipped with baffles? A. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in tanks without baffles. B. Reduced maneuverability. C. Enhanced braking efficiency. D. 
increased risk of skidding? The correct answer is A. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in tanks without baffles. Baffles inside a cargo tank help mitigate the surge of liquid cargo, resulting in improved stability and reduced movements that can affect handling during acceleration and braking. Question 21. When hauling liquids in tankers, one of the reasons that requires special care is the blank center of gravity these vehicles possess. A. Low. B. High. C. Stable. D. Variable. The correct answer is B. High. Tankers typically have a high center of gravity due to the liquid load they carry, which can increase the risk of rollovers and instability. This necessitates cautious driving and awareness of weight distribution to maintain safe operation. Question 22. When operating smooth bore tankers, heightened caution is essential, particularly when you are engaged in A. Changing lanes, B. Turning corners, C. Starting or stopping, D. Accelerating on straightaways. The correct answer is C. Starting or stopping. Smooth bore tankers lack internal baffles to control liquid movement, making them more susceptible to surge and instability during starting or stopping maneuvers. This requires careful control to prevent hazardous shifts in weight and cargo. Question 23. To navigate a curve safely with a tanker, it is advisable to decrease speed to an appropriate level before entering the curve and then blank while progressing through it. A. Slam on the brakes. B. Coast with the same speed. C. Steer erratically. D. Accelerate slightly. The correct answer is D. Accelerate slightly. Applying a slight acceleration while negotiating a curve with a tanker helps maintain a stable balance and control by counteracting the potential lateral sway and weight shift that can occur during the turn. Question 24. Why is it important to be aware of the required outage for the liquids you transport? A. It affects the vehicle's tire pressure. B. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. C. It determines the ideal driving speed. D. It determines the required fuel octane level. The correct answer is B. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Understanding the necessary outage for the liquids you carry is crucial to account for the potential expansion that can occur due to temperature changes during transit. This knowledge ensures that the cargo is loaded within safe limits to prevent overfilling and potential hazards. Question 25. Baffles within liquid cargo tanks typically do not inhibit the occurrence of surge movement from which direction? A. Side to side. B. Up and down. C. Forward to backward. D. Diagonally. The correct answer is A. Side to side. While baffles in liquid cargo tanks aid in controlling the front-to-back surge, they may have limited effectiveness in preventing side-to-side -side movement of liquid cargo, which requires careful driving to manage and minimize instability. Question 26. What is the anticipated impact on handling when your cargo tank is equipped with baffles? A. Increased risk of rollovers. B. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in tanks without baffles. C. Improved braking efficiency. D. Enhanced acceleration capabilities. The correct answer is B. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in tanks without baffles. Baffles help control the surge of liquid cargo, leading to improved stability and reduced movements that could affect handling during acceleration and braking. Question 27. When operating a tanker and faced with the need to execute a rapid steering maneuver to avoid a hazard, what action should you take with your brakes? A. Apply the brakes firmly while turning. B. Pump the brakes while steering. C. Apply the brakes only after completing the turn. D. Should not apply the brakes while turning. The correct answer is D. Should not apply the brakes while turning. Applying the brakes while turning, especially in a tanker, 
can increase the risk of a skid or loss of control due to weight shift, potentially leading to dangerous situations. Question 28. What is the most recommended approach for navigating a curve safely? A. Accelerate rapidly as you enter the curve. B. Maintain a constant speed throughout the curve. C. Slow to the safe speed before entering, then accelerate slightly through the curve. D. Slam on the brakes before entering the curve. The correct answer is C. Slow to the safe speed before entering, then accelerate slightly through the curve. This technique ensures controlled entry into the curve and slight acceleration while negotiating it, promoting stable handling and reduced risk of losing control. Question 29. When transporting liquids in tankers, there are special considerations due to two factors. One of these factors is the blank center of gravity. A. Low. B. High. C. Stable. D. Variable. The correct answer is B. High. Tankers typically have a high center of gravity due to the liquid cargo they carry, which can impact stability and handling, especially during turns and sudden maneuvers, making it crucial to drive cautiously. Question 30. What characteristic applies to the stopping distance of empty trucks compared to fully loaded ones? A. Requires greater stopping distance than full ones. B. Decreases due to reduced inertia. C. Remains constant regardless of weight. D. Allows for quicker deceleration. The correct answer is A. Requires greater stopping distance than full ones. Empty trucks have less weight, which can lead to reduced traction, longer braking distances, and increased potential for skidding, underscoring the need for increased stopping distance awareness. Question 31. In the event of an emergency that necessitates stopping your tanker or facing a collision, what action should you take? A. Apply harsh and sudden braking. B. Steer sharply to avoid the obstacle. C. Use only controlled or stab braking. D. Shift to a lower gear and accelerate. The correct answer is C. Use only controlled or stab braking. During an emergency situation, it's recommended to avoid harsh and sudden braking to prevent skidding and loss of control. Instead, using controlled or stab braking helps maintain stability and increases the chances of bringing the vehicle to a stop safely. Question 32. What is a potential outcome resulting from side-to-side -side surge in a tanker's liquid cargo? A. Enhanced stability. B. Rollover. C. Improved traction. D. Quicker stopping distance. The correct answer is B. Rollover. Side-to-side -side surge can lead to instability and loss of control, which may result in the tanker tipping over onto its side presenting a serious rollover hazard that can lead to accidents and injuries. Question 33. Heightened caution is necessary when operating bore tanks, particularly during which driving scenario? A. Changing lanes. B. Starting or stopping. C. Turning corners. D. Accelerating on highways. The correct answer is B starting or stopping. Bore tanks lack internal baffles, making them more prone to surge and instability during changes in speed, highlighting the need for careful handling during starting or stopping maneuvers to prevent potential shifts in weight and cargo. Question 34. In the event of a skid involving the front wheels of a tanker truck, which outcome is most probable? A. The truck will veer sharply to the right. B. The truck will come to an immediate stop. C. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how much you steer. D. The truck will swerve to the left. The correct answer is C. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how much you steer. In a front wheel skid, the front wheels lose traction, and the vehicle's momentum may carry it forward, resisting steering inputs 
and making it difficult to alter the direction of travel. Question 35. When transitioning your headlights from high to low while driving on a clear night, it's important to adjust your speed to ensure you can come to a halt within a. Half the distance of your high beam visibility b. A quarter of the distance of your high beam visibility c. Twice the distance of your high beam visibility d. The distance you can see ahead The correct answer is d. The distance you can see ahead Adapting your speed to the range of visibility helps ensure that you can react to unexpected obstacles or hazards within your sight, promoting safe and controlled driving in reduced lighting conditions. Question 36. Why is it important to be aware of the required outage for the liquids you are transporting? A. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. B. It determines the route you should take. C. It affects the vehicle's fuel efficiency. D. It influences the required driving speed. The correct answer is A. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Understanding the appropriate outage for the liquids being transported is crucial to accommodate potential volume changes due to temperature variations during transit, ensuring safe and compliant loading and preventing overfilling. Question 37. Under what circumstances should the driver of a tanker with brake failure utilize a truck escape ramp? A. Only during nighttime hours. B. If the tanker is carrying hazardous materials. C. When traffic is minimal. D. Always. The correct answer is D. Always. In the event of brake failure, a truck escape ramp should be utilized without exception as a last resort safety measure to prevent a potentially catastrophic accident and ensure the safety of the driver, the vehicle, and others on the road. Question 38. How are bulkheads configured in baffled liquid tanks? A. As solid barriers dividing the compartments. B. With holes in them that let liquid flow through them. C. With windows for improved visibility. D as cushioned surfaces to prevent cargo movement? The correct answer is B, with holes in them that let liquid flow through them. In baffled liquid tanks, bulkheads are designed with openings that allow the controlled flow of liquid between compartments, helping to manage liquid movement and stabilize the cargo during transport. Question 39. What action should you take if a vehicle approaching from the opposite direction begins to cross into your lane. A. Apply your brake as abruptly. B. Honk your horn repeatedly. C. Speed up to pass quickly. D. Move to your right. The correct answer is D. Move to your right. When faced with an oncoming vehicle encroaching into your lane, moving to your right helps create a safer buffer and minimizes the risk of a potential collision. Question 40. In New Jersey, when would you need a tank endorsement on your CDL, Class A or B? A. Needs a Class A or B, CDL and you want to haul a liquid or liquid gas in a tank, or tanks having an individual rated capacity of more than 119 gallons and an aggregate rated capacity of 1,000 gallons or more. B. When transporting hazardous materials. C. When driving a truck with a gross weight over 26,000 pounds. D. When driving a passenger bus. The correct answer is A. Needs a Class A or B CDL, and you want to haul a liquid or liquid gas in a tank, or tanks having an individual rated capacity of more than 119 gallons and an aggregate rated capacity of 1,000 gallons or more. In New Jersey, a tank endorsement is required for CDL holders who intend to operate vehicles with large liquid or liquid gas tanks, ensuring they possess the necessary skills and knowledge to handle such loads safely. Question 41. What action should you take prior to loading, unloading, or operating a tanker? A. Check the weather forecast. B. Inspect the vehicle. C. Calculate the route's mileage. D. Adjust the seat position. The correct answer is 
B. Inspect the vehicle. Conducting a thorough inspection before any activity involving a tanker helps ensure its proper functioning, identify potential issues, and maintain safety during loading, unloading, or driving operations. Question 42. What is the key aspect that requires thorough inspection on all tank vehicles? A. Tire tread depth. B. Brake fluid level. C. Engine coolant temperature. D. Leaks. The correct answer is D. Leaks. Ensuring that there are no leaks in the tank or its components is paramount to prevent potential hazards and maintain the safe transport of liquids or gases. Question 43. What dangerous conditions should you avoid when transporting liquids or gases? A. Leaking tank. B. Reduced tire pressure. C. Overloaded cargo. D. Diminished engine power. The correct answer is A. Leaking tank. Carrying liquids or gases in a leaking tank can result in hazardous spills, environmental contamination, and safety risks, making it crucial to ensure that the cargo container is secure and free from leaks. Question 44. What action constitutes a violation regarding transporting liquids or gases in a leaking tank? A overloading the vehicle, b. driving at excessive speeds, c. to carry liquid or gases in a leaking tank. You will be cited and prevented from driving further. You may also be liable for the cleanup of any spill, d. ignoring traffic signals. The correct answer is c. to carry liquid or gases in a leaking tank. You will be seated and prevented from driving further. You may also be liable for the cleanup of any spill. Transporting liquids or gases in a leaking tank is a criminal offense that can result in penalties, citations, and potential environmental damage, underscoring the importance of preventing such actions. Question 45. What action should you avoid while operating a tank vehicle? A. Using your high beam headlights. B. Speeding on downhill slopes. C overtaking other vehicles. D. Open valves or manhole covers. The correct answer is D. Open valves or manhole covers. Driving a tank vehicle with open valves or manhole covers can lead to leaks, spills, and hazardous situations, necessitating careful attention to cargo containment for safe transport. Question 46. What factor dictates the quantity of liquid that should be loaded into a tank? A the color of the liquid, B, the amount of liquid expansion, C, the shape of the tank, D, the external temperature. The correct answer is B, the amount of liquid expansion. The proper volume of liquid to be loaded into a tank is determined by considering the potential expansion of the liquid due to temperature changes. This factor is vital to prevent overfilling which could lead to hazardous spills, as liquids expand when they heat up and contract when they cool down. Question 47. To minimize the impact of liquid surge, what action should you take when making a turn? A. Turn slowly and carefully. B. Break abruptly before the turn. C. Turn sharply and abruptly. D. Accelerate quickly through the turn. The correct answer is A. Turn slowly and carefully. To mitigate the effects of liquid surge when navigating a turn, it's advisable to execute the turn in a gradual and cautious manner. This approach helps prevent excessive movement of the liquid cargo within the tank, maintaining better vehicle stability and reducing the risk of loss of control. Question 48. What is the most effective strategy for avoiding a rollover while driving a tanker through a curve? A. Increase your speed to maintain momentum. B. Apply brakes firmly throughout the curve. C. Lean into the curve to counterbalance the load. D. Travel at speeds below the posted limits. The correct answer is D. Travel at speeds below the posted limits. To reduce the risk of a rollover when maneuvering a tanker through a curve, it is recommended to maintain a speed that is within the posted limits. 
operating at lower speeds allows for better control over the vehicle and the liquid cargo, minimizing the chances of tipping due to the lateral forces acting on the tanker during the curve. Question 49. What is the primary action that stop valves in a cargo tank are designed to do? A. Close in an emergency. B. Drain excess liquid during loading. C. Maintain a consistent temperature inside the tank. D. Regulate the pressure of the liquid cargo. The correct answer is A. Close in an emergency. Stop valves in a cargo tank are specifically designed to swiftly shut off the flow of liquid in the event of an emergency situation, helping to prevent leaks, spills, and potential hazards that may arise during transportation. Question 50. Under which circumstance is a tank truck most susceptible to rolling sideways due to the movement of the liquid inside the bulk tank? A. When traveling around a curve. B. When parked on a flat surface. C. During a sudden stop. D. While accelerating on a straight road. The correct answer is A. When traveling around a curve. When a tank truck is negotiating a curve, the liquid cargo within the bulk tank can shift and create lateral forces that increase the risk of a sideways roll. This phenomenon underscores the importance of careful and controlled driving when navigating curves to maintain vehicle stability and prevent accidents. Question 51. What characteristic distinguishes a baffled tanker? A. A pressurized cargo compartment. B. A larger overall cargo capacity. C. Walls with holes inside the trailer for the liquid to flow through. D. An adjustable suspension system. The correct answer is C. Walls with holes inside the trailer for the liquid to flow through. A baffled tanker features internal walls that have openings or holes to allow the liquid cargo to flow between compartments. This design helps to minimize the surge and sloshing of liquids during transportation, contributing to better vehicle stability and safer handling on the road. Question 52. Which tanker shape offers the highest level of stability? A. Rectangular. B. Elliptical. C. Triangular. D. Circular. The correct answer is B. Elliptical. The elliptical shape provides superior stability for tankers due to its design, which minimizes the sloshing and movement of liquids inside the tank during transit. This enhances overall vehicle control and reduces the risk of accidents related to cargo surge. Question 53. What is the purpose of the cladding in a tanker? A. Provides extra seating for passengers. B. Protects the tanker from corrosive cargo. C. Enhances the vehicle's aerodynamics. D. Regulates the temperature of the liquid cargo. The correct answer is B. Protects the tanker from corrosive cargo. Cladding in a tanker serves the important function of shielding the vehicle's structure from the corrosive effects of the cargo it carries, ensuring the longevity and safety of the tanker and its contents. Question 54. For which type of cargo is a liquid tank trailer without baffles primarily employed? A. Gasoline or petroleum products. B. Industrial chemicals. C. Milk or food products. D. Water or potable liquids. The correct answer is C. Milk or food products. Liquid tank trailers without baffles are commonly utilized for transporting sensitive cargo like milk or food products. The absence of baffles prevents contamination and promotes smoother transportation, ensuring the integrity and quality of the transported goods. Question 55. What factor contributes to the challenging handling of a bulk liquid tanker? A. The tank's reflective surface. B. The trailer's lightweight construction. C. The vehicle's powerful engine. D. The cargo's high center of gravity. The correct answer is D. The cargo's high center of gravity. The difficulty in handling a bulk liquid tanker is often attributed to the cargo's elevated center of gravity, which can lead to instability and increased risk of tipping over. 
This emphasizes the importance of cautious driving techniques to maintain vehicle stability and prevent accidents. Question 56. While driving, it's essential to heed the recommended speeds for curves and keep in mind that A. Tank trucks have a higher center of gravity. B. Traffic congestion might increase. C. Road conditions can change unexpectedly. D. Larger vehicles yield the right of way. The correct answer is A. Tank trucks have a higher center of gravity. Following posted speed limits for curves is especially crucial as tank trucks have a higher center of gravity compared to other vehicles. This makes them more prone to tipping or rollovers if curves are taken at excessive speeds, underscoring the need for cautious driving practices. Question 57. What is the alternative term for a smooth bore tank? A. A high-capacity tank. B. A liquid tank without baffles. C. A tank with specialized insulation. D. A reinforced tank structure. The correct answer is B. A liquid tank without baffles. A smooth bore tank refers to a type of liquid tank that lacks baffles, resulting in the absence of internal structures to control the movement of liquid cargo. This design can lead to sloshing and instability during transportation, especially when carrying liquids that are susceptible to surgery. Question 58. What determines the appropriate volume of liquid to load into the tank? A. The type of vehicle you are driving. B. The distance of the journey. C. The current fuel prices. D. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. The correct answer is D. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. The volume of liquid to load into the tank should be calculated considering the potential expansion of the liquid due to temperature changes during transit. This prevents overfilling, which could lead to hazardous spills, as liquids tend to expand when they become warmer. Question 59. What is the meaning of outage? A. A sudden vehicle breakdown. B. A temporary road closure. C the distance between rest stops, D, the process of liquid expansion as it becomes warm. The correct answer is D, the process of liquid expansion as it becomes warm. Outage refers to the phenomenon where a liquid cargo's volume decreases in the tank due to the process of expansion as it gets warmer. This is a critical consideration when loading liquids into a tank to avoid overfilling and potential spills. Question 60. When operating a smooth-bore tanker combination, exercise heightened vigilance. A. When starting and stopping. B. In heavy rain conditions. C. When navigating uphill slopes. D. On long straightaways. The correct answer is A. When starting and stopping. When driving a smooth-bore tanker, particular attention should be paid to starting and stopping maneuvers. The absence of baffles in the tank increases the potential for liquid surge, making it crucial to handle acceleration and deceleration with care to maintain vehicle stability and control. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click the first link in the description to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your CDL exam on your first try.